Welcome back, everybody. Now, for our Sunday morning book review feature, we are in conversation with Centurion based author Phyllis Wolf about her inspirational memoir titled 31 Years to Peel a Banana. Now, Phyllis lives with cerebral palsy and is quadriplegic, and the book shares her experiences of traveling the world and meeting people who opened her eyes to a whole new world that doesn't let her disability put limitations on just how she must live her life. She further says that this book is a love letter of appreciation to those who impacted her life throughout her journey when she was paralyzed, uh, gone, uh, well, parasailed, I beg your pardon, gone scuba diving, flown in a micro light and even ridden an elephant around the world so to learn more about what she shares in this book and more phyllis wolf joins me now in studio phyllis a very good morning and a warm welcome morning you know as i was linking to this interview i already get the feeling that i know you because uh, you know you're the, bra the bravest person i know you're the <laughs> face of tenacity and uh, yeah you really define all the odds yeah. uh, you know to you mm. know just to live your life but mm. first of all let's talk about the title of your book 31 mm. years to peel a banana mm -hmm. what is the inspiration behind this well you know everything in my life happened slowly like i got my matric when i was 19 I got my first lover when I was 24. Um, I finished university at 30. So everything is slow. Okay. And, and the title is, is a metaphor. And I don't want to explain too much because it's in the book. Yeah. So, but that's basically what it is. Okay, let's talk about the reasons that propelled you to write this book. Okay. What really inspired you? Initially, it was a kind of therapy. You know, I, I had difficulty expressing myself. And the easiest way for me to express was to write. So when I was very depressed or very uptight or whatever, I used to write a lot. Mm -hmm. And it became a journaling process. It becomes part of your life. Yeah. And <clears throat> in doing so, I, st I thought about writing an autobiography. And then I got bored with the subject. Really? <laughs> well, I knew too much about her, you see. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what I did was I made a list of all the people that had created an impact in my life. Mm. And I write about some of them. And in the process of writing about, for example, if you're my friend, if I tell a story about you, you're going to find out about me in the process. Right. So that's what it was all about. Makes sense, actually. And <clears throat> the purpose behind the book was, now I've just recently realized that, you know, we all go through stuff. Mm -hmm. And I just happen to use a pair of wheels mm -hmm. in doing it. I go through the same emotional highs and lows and, and the fears and whatever. And I just wanted to share some of that so that the person reading the book doesn't focus too much on the disability. Obviously, the disability creates the picture, yeah. but it's not the essence of what the book is about. Okay. The essence of the book is we all go through stuff. This is how I dealt with it. Maybe along the way, somebody will be heard and understood by reading the book. Yeah. And yeah. that's what I want. And of course, uh, focusing on the things that you can do in spite of your disability. And in the first chapter, you write something so profound. You say that the, the perception of your parents with regards to mm. having a child with special challenges. Mm. Yeah, well, you know, we unfortunately, most of us believe in authority figures. If the doctor says this, then it's law. Mm. Well, guess what? You know, the doctor said I would live till, till I was 50 if I was lucky. I'm 70. Wow. So, you know, whoever appointed him to us, he to God, is really not well. Um, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. What would you say to the doctor today? You idiot. You know, <laughs> you did the best you could at the time, but you're actually an idiot. Um, how can you appoint yourself to be God and say she'll make it till she's 50? You can't. No. Mm. Um, <clears throat> I am so disgustingly healthy that it's frightening. I don't yeah. have any diseases. I, I drink a bit much and I swear a lot, you know, <laughs> but that's about it. And especially because, I mean, you've done things that most able-bodied people do. Scuba yeah. diving, oh, well, I've never gone to scuba diving. It's actually in my bucket list. You've, uh, you must rode try it. it's great. Yeah, I, I definitely will. I definitely Scary, will. Scary, but it's great. <laughs> I can imagine. I can imagine. Well, yeah. the book also centers around your interactions with people uh, oh. who've made a huge impact on your life. Mm -hmm. You know, you'll, I, I'm sure you read that I come from a pretty damaged family. Yeah. And <clears throat> so my role models were a bit squiffy. Mm -hmm. and, and I got role models in other avenues, like physiotherapists, sure. school teachers, um, <clears throat> friends of the family who took on the father role, that kind of thing. Okay. And, and those people 
to look beyond the disability. Look, and that's what I wanted, or that's what we all need. What you see is not who, you, who you're really seeing. It's what's going on inside that's more important. Yeah. And I think that's my message too. The appearance is very deceptive. I mean, literally, in real terms, I can move one hand. Okay. Now, somebody who doesn't understand would say, my God, that's a disability. But guess what? The mouth works, you know, <laughs> and the brain works. And the brain works as well. Mm. And, I'm, and, and I have the naughtiest sense of humor. Mm -hmm. you know? And that I'll really that pulled us. <laughs> 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 and that pulled me through. Yeah. And I'm not saying that my life was any easier than anybody else's. In fact, I think it was packed on a little bit more. But that made me stronger. And that's the message I want to get across to people is that you must understand your own truth yeah. and your own strength. Okay. And, and when you get that, nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you. Except and, uh, what you what's want. What's more profound about your story is, uh, uh, is the fact that you came to the realization to realize that you've got the ability to help those with a disability overcome yeah. uh, mm. the uh, challenges associated with their disabilities. Well, actually, it was very funny because... Years ago, I worked with disabled people and teaching them how to become independent. I suddenly realized that I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to move out of home and learn to be independent. And the book shares some of that stuff. Yeah. And I used to go to work crying and saying, I couldn't cope last night. I had a tummy ache and I couldn't get to my medication. Those are the realities that I had to share with the people so that they could understand that I was going through what they were going through to become independent. Okay. And it's very rewarding in the end. It's a huge stretch, but it's greatly rewarding when you see somebody who's totally dependent on the world out there and suddenly, he, or not suddenly, over six months, he, actually, he or she can actually earn a living sure. and get their self-esteem back. Okay. And that's what it's all about. Now that we know that there's absolutely nothing stopping you, where to from here? We're talking about the Camino next. <laughs> there's a, there, I have my phrase for disabled people is wheelies. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a wheelie Camino, and I want, I'm investigating that. Okay. So I'll share it with you when I come back. Please, please, be my guest, <laughs> be my guest, by all yeah. means. Yeah. All right, Phyllis, thank you so much for your time. Hey? Thank you. Thank you so much for being an inspiration and uh, for all those uh, with a disability. Hey? It's been much great with it. you, thank you. <laughs> Well, that's uh, Phyllis Wolf, and she's speaking to us about her memoir titled 31 Years to Peel the Banana. Well, if you belong to a book club or you're a lone reader, you can also join in uh, for our Sunday morning book feature to talk about some of the books that you're currently reading.